Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Uh, welcome back my dear friends, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are in this part of the world and at whatever time you are uh, listening to this set of lectures. This is the um, uh, SWAM lecture series uh, and the main topic is investment analysis and portfolio management and my good name is Raghunandan Sengupta from IME department at IIT Kanpur. Uh, if you remember in the last class we were discussing about the concepts of how you combine uh, forwards, futures and different options, options in the sense that it can be either a put or a call and we will continue the discussions as that along with the um, uh, matrix of the table um, of, of the payoff matrix, you are also able to draw the graphs so that you can understand that as the strike price or the delivery prices changes. So, I am using the words of delivery price and strike price interchangeably depending on whether you have a, uh, the forward futures or an option along with different type of price at which you buy this option. And the main motivation if you remember uh, for this we are trying to for this course we are trying to basically uh, show, showcase the the different type of examples where you can reduce the loss and later on as I, I mentioned in the last class at the fag end it was basically main idea was basically to reduce the risk. I will come to that the risk perception later on. Uh, this is the 23rd lecture and our main emphasis would be def definitely in combination of different type of options mm, along with the tables and the graphs. So, as the topic says, the lecture title says, is a combination of the options. Now, um, here we have a bull spread. So, we, will, we had considered or we will consider the bear spread, the bull spread and the different examples of the butterfly spread. Bull spread and bear spread as and the butterfly spread as you will understand later on as we discuss and, and I did mention it time and again as we are considering the examples. In one, one case, one set of examples, uh, the investor thought that the prices would be on an upward trend. In the next ex set of examples, the uh, investor thought the prices would be on a downward trend and in the butterfly spread, it was basically the price was fluctuating between uh, two different prices uh, which we will consider and we mentioned that it will be denoted by K1 and K2. Obviously, they can be different examples where you consider K1, K2, K3, but I will only stick to the simple examples of K1, K2. And another thing which I did mention in the last class is that we will consider only one option of each kind. Obviously, you can increase the number of options and for that we saw the examples how you can basically increase the pay of uh, values depending on which the total amount of, of P offs would basically be multiplied by the factor of the number of, um, uh, of options you are buying or selling. So, I will again try to continue using the same color combination. So, the, the continuity remains and it will be easy for me to explain and obviously for you to understand as we proceed. So, we have and if you remember, we, we, we considered the prices if they were K, we use the red color and in the next case, if the prices was K2, we use the green color and for the combined one, we use the blue color for the first case. The price was K1, so your combined profit Okay, let me denote it which, which I have been trying to do it each and every step. You have ST along the x axis, ST is basically the spot price depending on the uh, time frame. So, 
at small t is equal to t, we are trying to basically find out what is the p of graph. Along the y axis, we have the profit, profit of the p of. So, the first example. So, we had the option which is for the bull spread. Let me use the highlighter, it will be easy for to darken it. So, this was the profit of the payoff for the first example where the price was K1. The case when you had K2 as the price, it is the green one and when the combined one was given, it was blue, blue in color, which is the dark one here. So, the concept of basically being the bull spread was basically was bullish about the prices. Okay. Now, let us mark the profits. So, this if you had ST, ST, in one case I will draw it for the case when it was greater than K1, one was less than K1. second case when it was greater than k2 and obviously k2 being greater than k1 they would be a band between k1 and k2 it will be applicable so yes if that is the case i should mention that so this was greater than k1 uh, it was basically between K1 and K2. I will use the symbol ST here. K2 and the next case it was basically greater than K2. So, I'll, I should interchange that. So, it will be easier for the sequential or way we are trying to discuss. It was less than k1, greater than k1. Okay. And on the right hand side, we had basically the total payoff. So, I will I'll, I'll mark the positive and the negative one. Positive means the profit and the loss, so that you can understand the sequence of how the options individually give the profit and the loss. And I will use the same color as we are following. So, this was the profit and this was basically the loss. So, let us come here. So, for the case when it was less than k1, it was a profit and the case it was greater than k1, it was a loss, so negative. When I go to the case of, of the other option which I which will use the color scheme of green. For less than k1, it was basically a loss. So, and for the case when it was between uh, k1 and k2, it is a combination of a profit and loss. So, I would not mark it here. For the case when it was greater than k2, it was a profit. So, I will use profit here. So, this was profit, this was basically a loss. Now, when I come to the combined one, so combined one, I will I'll mark it. So, combined one is basically a loss and at some point, depending on the price change between K1 and K2 and depending on what the ST price was or the value was you had a profit and a loss. So, I will denote it here and the, then again it was basically a profit. And I will come to the payoff uh, table and the matrix 
within few minutes. So, the combined one was given blue in color. I am trying to follow the, the same coloring scheme, so it is easy for us to understand. And, and, and I will also go back to the excel sheet of trying to solve the problem. So, now let us come to the payoff matrix. Now, in the bull spread you had a long put and a short put. So, long basically you want, you want to buy and short you want to basically sell. So, let us uh, consider again the coloring scheme and then come back to the, the excel sheet how we solve. So, I am trying to basically divide into columns, so it will be easy for us to see and understand. So, the, for the first case when it was K1, we use the red color and uh, I will use the highlighter. So, this was basically the payoff for all the case when it was the long put. For the case when it was the short put, I use the green coloring scheme. Depending on the price, uh, ST being between S K1, K2, and so on and so forth. And finally, when you see the combined one, the net profit is given by these values. And this this one which you see on the on the leftmost column is basically the prices such that ST is in one case less than K1, second case is between K1 and K2 and in the third case it was greater than K2. So, and, and another thing, even if we, we are using the prices, prices being for buying and selling that option for C or P, we will try to stick to either C or P, but I will mention that when we do the problems in, in details in the excel sheet. So, let us come to the problem solving using uh, the, the prices of the long put and the short put. And that was for the case for the bull spread which was the main assumption why we are doing that and, and I will explain that when once we solve the problem in details. So, I will interchangeably use change from the PPT slide to the excel sheet. So, let me zoom in it is easier for all of us to C. So, I will mark S T here and uh, you had a long put and a short put. So, I will mark the long put here, short put here and then mark the price K and the small p which is the price at which you buy or sell that option. So, let me first mark the ST one, I will I'll use the quantum of 10 only, so it is easier for us to all of to understand. So, this one K 1 for the long put we will use the price as say for example, 50 and the short put will use the price of 100. So, that uh, does not matter whether you, you put the sign because that is the delivery price of the stock price, um, the strike price sorry. For the price we will put uh, for the case when you are considering the long one and the short one. So, we will consider the prices as positive negative. So, that will come out in the discussion story. So, long means what you are trying to basically buy and short is basically you are trying to sell. So, long would basically have a negative price which you are paying upfront. So, let us consider the prices as minus 10, let us consider it as plus 20 and let us solve the problem accordingly. So, this is the long put which is the B column, which is the short put and let us go through the price. So, for prices for ST being less than K1, what is K1 here? K1 is basically the price which is 50. 
So, we will use uh, the, the uh, combination to find out the overall profit as k1 minus st plus or minus whatever it is, is the price. So, is k1 minus the strike price st plus the price which is minus 10 because I have paid upfront. So, I need to basically make it fixed because this price of 50 which is there given is a 5, no it is not a 5, is b 2 is fixed and c 2 is fixed. So, once I So, these are the payoffs for the long put, when I come into the short put, I will go for step by step. Oh, and another thing as I did for the last time, let us mark <coughs> the delivery price for each cases accordingly and it was basically 50 and we will see how the table which is shown with the graph would make sense. For the short put, uh, the prices are basically. ST minus K2 is 100 plus the price of 20. So, let me fix the values. So, B3 is fixed, C3 is fixed, I find it for the uh, long port and the short port uh, separately. So, here is basically the combined one and I am only taking one long put and one short put, I will change that accordingly later on. So, when I find out, so let us go uh, each column wise depending on the long put. For the long put, the price was basically k1 minus st minus the price which I paid for the long put. So, for prices till 50, because that is the delivery price of the strike price, you had a profit and if I go back to the, the graph, yes, it would be a profit depending on the prices of st being less than k1 because if I have uh, gone for a long position, then obviously for prices ST less than K1, I would make a profit because the prices would be um, conducive for me to basically reduce my, my loss or basically as I mentioned, is basically to, to base gain over the risk uh, concept which I have been mentioning in the last class fang and also and I, when I started the class. For the case when you have the, the price strike price as K2, so this is the case of the K2, K2 was, was, was what? For the short price was basically 100, so for prices of, of 100 and if the, the, the price at which I bought, uh, the bought or sold, the short put I sold, so that is that is why it is plus 20 my profit uh, or the payoff is given in column C and when I combine them, interestingly, the, the overall profit which I get is basically 40. So, uh, it is obviously in, 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 in the graph which we see with respect to the values which I have taken, they would not make sense, but I will basically give you some, some other changed values. So, the graph which we got or which we have here would basically give us a better picture. So, let us first draw the graph here. So, if I see the overall uh, payoff graph for the case is given by this and I will use the same coloring scheme which I have been doing. For the long put, which is orange, the 
there is I have missed uh, judged few examples wait I, I should write the formula it will be easy for uh, sorry so for the case still uh, price is less than k1 and this would be basically the price so this is uh, my apologies i'll just correct it I am extremely sorry for because not changing the formula. So, this minus 10 for the case when it is uh, greater than k 2 so yes. So, now it is much actually the graph should be so i just went into considering the the payoff matrix without considering the max of the min so let us come to the graph first so the long put it was basically red in uh, it was let me check what color scheme which i have used it was basically uh, blue in uh, it was uh, red in color I am using the same coloring scheme which we have considered. So, let me increase the font size. the first case it should be red in color I am trying to use the increase the width, width yes so this is basically the red one which you see is basically for considering for the long put for the short put you had the gray one which I will change to green one which we have been following and for the combined one we are using the blue one so I will I'll continue using the blue one So, you have the P of graphs corresponding to the P of matrix or the P of table. Now, let us consider, so we, we have considered one long put, one short put. What happens when we increase the, 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 the number of long put and the short put? So, I will just take it and redo uh, and delete it and come back to the graph later on so consider you had two long put plus three short put so let us uh, do it likewise it will be much better here ok. Now, in up case 1, um, case 2, case 3, so it is like this. In case 1, you have two long puts and one short put. 
so let us combine so it is two long put means what plus one short put because basically becomes this so let us check the formula it is basically two long puts and the one short put in case 2 you have 1 long put plus 3 short put, 1 long put plus 3 short put and case 3 you had 2 long put plus 3 short puts. So, case 1 was, was the case when you had 2, 1, then 1, 3 and 2, 3. So, let us draw the graphs. And the first graph which was the long put and the short put is exactly the same what we have shown in the PPT slides. Okay. So, this is a little bit not cluttered, there are many graphs, but I will explain one by one. So, first I should remove the ST. Okay. Let us go. So, for the long put, the color was originally was red. I use that. The gray one basically was for the case when you had The green and final was basically the blue one was the orange one which we have been discussing in the So, this is done. Now, let us consider the cases of two long put plus one short put, one long put plus three short put and two long put plus three short puts. So, I will use the blue color, but with different connotation of how you draw it. So, first two long put plus one short put which is the dark blue. I use the same color and I should uh, use the small uh, dash, yes. So, the small dash one is basically for two long put and one short put, then comes the case when you have one long put and three short put, I will use the longer dash, so which is the graph which you see here, this one. And finally, for the combination when two, two long puts and three short puts, same color, blue one. small dots. So, this is the graph. So, the one which you have here and should and whether it is possible for me to use Let me see whether I can cut paste it and draw it. Yes, it is better. So, I will be able to show it to you 
or the combination becomes for the case when you have the wait 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 the color has not So, this is much better. So, I will use it and to show it. So, in the case when you have uh, the, uh, the problem when you have the one long put and one short put. So, it is blue in color and I will highlight it using the blue one which is the the dark one. So, this is the area for the profit and loss. I will use one and basically uh, delete it. So, that is easy for all of us to see and is exactly one which we have seen in our case. So, this area positive one and the negative one. So, that is for the one long put and one short put. Now, when we come to the case of two long puts and two short puts, which is uh, the big dash. So, your graph was this one. So, the big dash was this, this area was there. That is for the the case of two long puts and, and, and one short put. When we come to the case of one long push and three short puts, it is green color in here, it should be uh, blue, but still we will continue and showing it with the green color. So, this is the case, oh, this is not the color. I am drawing the, the negative and the positive regions in order to basically uh, show you the profit and the loss. So, the this part is basically the loss and this is the profit. And finally, for two long puts and three short put when I combine, okay. remember the assumptions uh, which I did not mention that, that the, the, the delivery time for the European call options are same for all these cases. Finally, <coughs> this is the case for the combination of two long puts and three short puts. So, this is the on the positive one is the profit and the negative one is the loss. And you can combine them in, in different combinations to get a good picture how you analyze. So, this I thought I will I'll, I'll give you an example like even if we considered the simple example of one for long put and one short put still I increase the numbers of the options in order to give you a better example. So, now we will come to the beer spread and, and another thing I am mentioning is very easy to draw it when you use the excel sheet and convert that and draw the graph. So, you can change the values and, and get a much better picture. So, I will keep continuing using the examples when we use the excel sheet. Now, we consider the beer spreads, the investor is hoping that the stock price will decrease. So, the bullish was when the stock price had an inclination or the information set on the, on the investor was he thought, he or she thought that the prices would increase. In the case for the beer spreads, he or she uh, thought the, the prices would decrease. So, again we use the same coloring scheme. For prices K1 and less, we use the color red. 
for prices for K2 we use the color green and for the combined one we use the color blue. So, for prices it were basically K1 and, and less this was the option. So, this was the profit this was the loss. For the case when we had uh, the strike price as K2, the colors changes, you had loss, you had profit and when you combine them, the blue one, this was the combined one. So, this portion was as depending on the K2 and K1 and P for the call price and, and uh, buying price and the selling price whether uh, long call, short call, long put, short put I am using the symbol of P. So, this was basically the loss this was the profit. So, if I draw it for ST, ST for the first case is less than K1 for the, the same case is greater than K1. Then you had price is less than K1 between K1, K2 and finally, you had basically prices greater than K2. For prices for the first case when it was less than K1, you found it was basically profit and this was loss. In the case when you had the, this was a profit, sorry, 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 my, my mistake. Profit and loss for the price when it was K2, it was uh, less than K2, it was basically loss. For K1, K2, it changes from positive to negative or negative to positive, and finally, for greater than K2, it was basically a uh, profit. So, when you combine them, combine in the sense, combine this one and this one, you had basically the combined payoff matrix as shown in the blue color. So, now let us come back to the, the table or the payoff matrix. So, you had a short call and a long call, there you had a uh, long put and a short put. So, we are trying to combine uh, the selling here and there it was a buying here. Obviously, you can combine them with long, short, short, long whatever combination which you need. So, I will use the same uh, uh, excel sheet and, and would not um, delete it the graph which we have just uh, shown and then combine it with the short call and the long call. So, this was the first example. So, I will use a short call and a long call and for a you will use the price strike price K symbol, price P symbol and uh, I will use the same uh, sequence of the, the spot price. So, let us use the same same concept and, and let us stick to the same values. So, it will be even though that that is practically may not be right, but in order to make you understand how it happens. So, let us make uh, this as 50 for the long one. 
uh, for the short uh, short call it is uh, 50 and for the long call is 100 for the price for the first case it was basically a uh, short you are selling so you are getting a profit so it will be plus 10 for the case when you are going for a um, long you are buying so it will be minus 20 and I am using the same numeric values. So, here I will use the long short call, long call, short call plus long call. I will stick to one of short call and one for long call, I will expand it later on as, as the case is. So, I will use the strike price as uh, the, the spot price as it is. So, for the short call it is the plus price and it will be true till the case it is less than k 1. Okay, I have sorry I have to make it and for prices greater than k 1 you basically is k 1 which is basically 50 minus s t plus c s which is 10 which is positive. So, I now I basically log this price k 1 means the cell is locked and k 2 is, is j and k is locked. For the long call it is minus so it goes on till the strike price 100 for price is is equal to k minus st minus k plus is basically minus so j becomes locked k becomes locked and when i consider the combined one so this is the the Price. So, I will we will see the graph exactly matches what I have drawn or in the PPT slide. So, let us first draw the graph. And let us use the same coloring scheme for the short call which is orange it should be red for the grayish one which is long call it should be green as we are following the same nomenclature uh, the coloring scheme and for the combined one it should be blue so, let us compare that with the graphs which we had obtained. Okay. So, I am I am trying I have posted that on uh, on the same PPT slide and pasted it such that you can basically understand it much better. Okay. I 
should uh, so here see it here so this was basically the bear spread considering that uh, the investor thinks the prices is going on a downward trend so here the short call and the long call and the the p of matrix concepts were exactly the same so this was for the short call with a strike price or price of k1 this was the case when you have k2 long call i am using the same coloring scheme i am repeating it for sorry for that and for the combined one net profit i use the blue one and this was basically the leftmost column was basically the, uh, the spot price so if you see it the chart which you see here the red one is basically short green one is for the long and the combined one uh, short call and the long call was basically blue is exactly matches the one which is here so you had the profit um, graphs or the p of graphs considering this this three one which was long short and the combined one for the call so we this this graph is not it's basically with using the puts so we have been considering the calls okay so now let us go back to the excel sheet again but with the difference that we'll increase the number of of uh, short call and long call and stick to the coloring scheme which unfortunately in the last uh, diagram when we are considering the puts it was not possible in the last minute it changed so sorry for that so let us consider two short call plus one long call which is case one case two and case three so you had short call plus three long calls and the final case was two short calls plus three long calls so let us draw it uh, two short calls plus one long call this case was one short call plus three long calls and i I'll, I'll copy it for all the cells uh, in under column m n and o here and this was basically two short calls plus 3 long calls so let us copy it so you have the graph here so the cases i'll i'll draw this gets removed so i i try to follow the coloring scheme so there is no confusion okay first is the short call which is orange so technically it should be it should be red next was was equal to the long call which is gray here which should be green then was basically the short call and the long call which was blue which is here in yellow and then i'll use the same color blue but with different hashed lines two short calls and one long call blue then is the green one which is one short call and three long calls
again blue but the the dash would be different and finally the dark one again blue and hash done and simple so let me copy it so you have what the first case for the red one which was basically the short call so this is the profit region and 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 it exactly matches the graph so i i would not be switching from the original one which was shown in the ppt slide i am just trying to bring up different scenarios for our understanding so the red one is for the short call the green one is for the long call and the prices are exactly as we considered for the put also in quantum of 5 so it's easy for us to draw the bold uh, one was basically which was shown in the P ppt one was basically one short call and one long call the dashed one uh, which was basically two long two short calls and and one long call the dash dot one uh, longer dot ones was basically one short call and three um, long calls and finally you had basically two short calls and three long calls so different combinations will give you the scenarios so that such that you can understand that what is the payoff matrix and the payoff graphs and obviously remember always uh, without uh, the the forgive me for for repeating it along the x axis you had basically st and along y axis you have basically the profit or the payoff Now, till now we have been considering the bull one considering the combinations of calls and, and, and uh, initially we had basically the, the puts and later on last example was basically the beer using the calls, now you will use the beer using the puts. So, the, the concept was in the case you had the prices increasing, it was bullish in the case when you, the prices were decreasing that means what the investor thinks it is decreasing it is bearish and from that we consider the puts so i'll consider this example in in little bit detail so again the same uh, scheme of color prices k1 red prices of k2 of green and prices and when you combine them k1 and k2 you had the blue and as usual you had st along the x axis pf along the y axis the the beer spread using the puts considering the prices are on the downward trend the combinations was for price k1 and less this is the short put for prices uh, less than k2 from 0 to k2 you would use the green color which is the long put and the combined one basically was the blue in color which is the net profit and again you can basically do it uh, correspondingly to draw the graphs. Um, so, I will take uh, extra 2 or 3 minutes to basically finish the graph here. So, it, it will would not break the continuity. So, so if I had uh, basically the prices here, so for the short and the long, so I will go to the to the excel sheet. So, this was all considering the the bearish market 
and you had the short put and the long put. Short put, long put, I will consider k here, I will consider small p the price. So, I will consider the spot price in the same quantum of, of 10. And as I have considered the prices as uh, for the short put, the strike price I will consider as 100 and this long one I will consider as say for example, 160 let us consider. For the price of the short we will consider so we are selling, so obviously you are getting some money, so it will be positive. So, I will consider uh, a price of, of say for example, 60. 60 will be too high, let us consider as 40 and for a long one which I am basically buying because it is negative, I will consider a price of say for example, mind and 80 and this is the short put, long put, I will only consider one combination of um, uh, short put and long put because combining two or more of short put and two or more of, of uh, long put you can basically manage it accordingly. So, I will only keep it one of each because combining them of two and more you just need to multiply the corresponding uh, payoff values that is that is not difficult. And obviously, you can make complicated combination uh, not in excel you can use R, you can use MATLAB, you can use Statistica and basically draw nice graphs depending on what uh, the different combinations are. But remember the main the, the idea is that you are trying to basically see different scenarios depending on what the assumptions the investor is. And for this course, I am again repeating, depending on the different scenarios of the bullish market, bearish market, whether the market is changing between two prices, you basically make these diagrams. And for later on, we will see that how it can be combined in order to basically reduce the risk. So, for the short put, the prices would be ST. minus k which was uh, 100 and plus p which was basically 40. So, the price is 100 let me mark it. So, for without any confusion and another price was basically 160 let me mark it without any confusion. So, you we can differentiate that. So, for this I mark uh, the price k lock it lock the cell and similarly for the price p and for values of this it is basically the price p which is again locked. So, let us go till 250 this is more than enough so you can understand. And when we come to the price of the, the payoff values for the, it is equal to k which is 160 minus st plus uh, this price of 80. So, that is minus because I paid up front. So, let me first lock the values, lock means lock the cells and this is c2. So, this will go till the strike price is 160 for this its strike price is 160 and then I go into the price of minus which is 80, I lock it, lock the cell. So, sorry for repeating the same thing time and again and when I come to the profit, just see the graph with respect to what I have drawn earlier. So, when I draw the graph, sorry, sorry for that. So, this is the graph which we were intending and this is the gra graph which you want. So, the orange one is basically the color should be red. For the grey one, 
color should be green and for the which is the main thing which basically the, the combined one is the blue one. So, now let us see the combined one. So, this is the same graph which we had here. So, if you see the combined one, pay attention to the dark one which was basically should be blue in color, this one, the combined for the dear spread using two puts is exactly the same thing which we had, the blue one. And the, the green and the red is basically for the combined for the short put and the long put is exactly as it should be. Um, only only that my, my prices are, are accordingly done. So, you can basically check the k 1 and k 2 values. Uh, with this, I will end this class. Uh, it it words, uh, we, 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 we had to discuss the example. So, we went a little bit uh, few minutes extra. So, we will come to the combinations of different uh, butterfly and later on butterfly spreads and depending on how the prices moves using the options and later on combine different type of options and different type of, of uh, forwarding features also. And later on try to see that for different combinations, so these are simple examples for different combinations, how you can basically have different ranges where you can basically have a look that how the price fluctuations would basically dictate the profit and the loss. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day.